Hey guys, this is TJ or over here at Down and Out Design and uh, just want to do a little unboxing video of, uh, of my new compressor that I got from California Air Tools. As you can see, my shop is an utter mess. I mean, it is just absolutely ridiculous i mean there is stuff everywhere most of it, most of it's junk i mean it, it doesn't even make sense to me why it's in here anyhow <clears throat> i've seen people do these unboxing videos and i thought it'd be pretty cool uh to do an unboxing video as i've never done one it's been a while since i've done a video and uh i've never had a California air tools compressor I've always had just uh, whatever I could pick up at the hardware store you know uh, craftsman uh, you know uh, sear you know whatever whatever they have at Sears or Walmart or Harbor Freight um, Ingersoll ran stuff like that so I'm really excited about this uh, compressor so I figured I'd take you guys along with me for those of you that are on the fence about buying a, a new air compressor um, I got the California Air Tools 1002 uh, that's the model number with the with the 10 gallon tank and I'm gonna see if I can film this with my phone uh, while I uh, unbox this thing so y'all just uh, bear with me Let's see if I can set y'all up somewhere that you can see well, all right, that's not gonna work. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty hilarious ways of filming here, I guess. Well, I'll just see if I can do it with one hand. I think it's uh, I think the weight that they have on it is supposed to be something like 88 pounds. So hopefully it won't be too hard to get out of the box. Got my water bottle, my gallon of water sitting here, and a rubber hammer. We'll see if we can do that. All right, guys. Apparently, it came in a pretty large box because it is not a small compressor. So, whenever I was making the decision to get this compressor, I was really thinking about getting a large, you know, shop compressor. But, the problem with that is, eventually I'll be building me a larger shop, you know, something in the neighborhood of a 40 by 40 building. So, I didn't really much see the point in buying a, a massive air compressor whenever I have such a tiny workspace uh, <clears throat> to deal with. Um, so, that being said, I wanted to hold off on that, and at least whenever I got this one, it could be portable. Uh, it's on wheels, as y'all will soon see. I can manhandle this thing out of here, which probably not. I don't want to make an ass out of myself on this video. Because you only get one shot to unbox something, so I'm going to make sure it's right. It's not going like a complete good Get the box out of my way. 
way so that I can see what I got going here. Oh! Well, there's the wheels, or one wheel. I'm not entirely sure what this thing is. But I'm sure we'll find out. The other wheel. This thing's packaged in here really well. So, I mean, hats off to the shipping department for making it so fun to get into and protecting the equipment. Um, kind of getting warm in here. Um, I paid $400 for this. You can get an oil bath uh, version of this very same compressor for a fraction of the cost. Uh, however, there is maintenance um, that you have to take care of and I figured you know, I'm always buying cheap stuff and getting secondhand stuff and rebuilding stuff. And I'm really sick of it. So I wanted to just go ahead and get something that I don't have to worry about. I can just use it and pretty much set it and forget it. So, look at there. Probably can't see it. Let me see. Yeah, you can see just the engine. That's pretty hilarious. Let's put it right here. Yeah, alright. I'll take you guys for a little spin around it. Here it is. Dual piston motor. Oil free. Um, like I said, it's the Cat 10020 110 volt. Runs at 60 hertz, um, 14 amps. Looks to be like a really, really rigid and tough looking compressor. Now that's the back side. Oh. Check this out. It's got a steel braided line down there. I have to. We'll have to work on that. I'm not real sure what the hell that is. It's uh quite different than compressors that I have used. This is the face of it, man. That is a beautiful looking compressor. I mean, it is just very nice spin it around here got an awesome looking face plate a good solid handle with a rubber grip dual gauges red adjustment knob for your pressure you got dual outlets with quick connects already on it you got your kill switch um, and let's see if we can get some of this I have some paper off of it. I've got to get like a some kind of camera one of these days. All right, and there is right out of the box California Air Tool air compressor, ten gallon tank, a two horsepower. Uh, motor set up opposed to the one horsepower that you mainly get with a 30 gallon so my first impression is, is I am absolutely in love with it and I haven't even started it yet let's uh let's take a break and I'm gonna put the wheels on it and I'll be back to plug it in and we'll see exactly how quiet this dog is